Hello everyone, this is Small Nap. It has been a long time not uploading videos. I'm glad I'm back. Today I'm going to develop a simple state machine for player. It will be a fundamental step for a future development tutorial. Let's go to player scene first. Then let's create attack animation. Here's a small tip for saving time. You can copy tracks from any animation to new animation. Uh, now let's drag new asset of attack animation to texture. And Add it to animation. Also, don't forget to change vertical frames number from 1 to 4. Here it looks like 0 0.4 seconds didn't make attack animation cool enough. I would use uh, 0 0.05 seconds for each frame and total 0 0.2 seconds for one a uh, one-time attack animation. This same uh, the same applies for up, right, and left. Now it is core section to refactor our player script to implement state machine. First we need states in numer set up to include three states we have now. Second, we need a variable to store current state, which start with one uh, idle. One is the index of, you can imagine it is like an array. So it starts from zero and one is idle.
Next, we need to create a change state function to allow us to switch state. Use match statement is very recommended. Uh, this function allows us to place any variable changes in here when switching state. Let's create a new physical process. We also need to move input direction determination out of uh, old process function. We call it get uh, input direction. Then in new process function, we need to know which state we are in. Using match statements is better from my experience. Let's put idle, work, and attack here first. For idle, First, we need to check whether we have move input. If yes, we have to switch state to walk. If no, continue in idle state. For work, we also need to check whether we have move input. If yes, continue. If no, it means player has no input for movement right now. Switch from work to idle.
last one is attack animation, uh, attack state. Copy from idle first, then use phase direction to determine which animation to play. Now we need to build the input trigger for attack. Set up attack input in input map uh, settings first. Uh, you can call it any name. Um, I've used it as uh, action and uh, set up as Z. If input dot is action just pressed, we need to change state to attack. Don't forget to update state to new state in change state function. Last important thing for this kind of one time state or one-time animation. So let's go to uh, animation player to trigger this uh, on animation an animation completed. We are doing following things. Uh, it is if it is done, you need to switch to other state. Uh, otherwise, it will it will stuck there. For example, if anim name like attack, we need to switch to idle. Okay, now we are ready to test in debug mode. As you can see here, uh, I'm walking, uh, switch from walk to, uh, to idle to attack state, which looks pretty cool. We also need to change this in ready function to default. This is my personal game demo uh, showing state machine uh, usage. And here is our start for state machine, which will help us build complex actions in future uh, tutorials. For example, pick up, cut, chop, uh, harvest, and etc. And thanks for watching. I recently got back to YouTube tutorial works. Sorry for updating lately, I will keep uploading new concepts of videos for Godot development, especially for farm tutorials. I was interviewing uh, new jobs over the past few months, that's why I don't have enough time to um, upload more videos. But right now um, I'm back because I got a uh, full-time job as a software engineer in Amazon. If you are interested in a uh, software engineer job finding or other interviewing tips uh, please feel free to comment subscribe and also share to your friends thank you so much guys